John Lyon might tell you that both his golf game and his bout with prostate cancer have taught him persistence. If neither is going well, he says, he keeps trying something new, which is why he's been through five forms of chemo in the last four years. That has afforded me uh, more good health, more quality of life, and has uh, fought back this disease. Um, uh, to a standstill. Well, that's good news. John knows all too well that his prostate cancer may come back, and this may be the reason why. These may be little time bombs. At Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, scientists are isolating the prostate cancer stem cells that may be to blame. Doctors say for the last 60 years, they've focused on wiping out the tumor, and while they've been very successful, the cancer can survive. And the key to changing that might just be this. The targets have switched and, and now the interest has come around to the cell that may be the source of the, of the tumor, which would be the stem cell. Every adult has stem cells in almost every organ. They're neutral cells, meaning they don't do anything until the body tells them what to do. Right now, treatments like chemo will kill cancer cells in the prostate, but these cancer stem cells can be the real problem. Scientists believe they may somehow hide during chemo or radiation, then later they morph into actively growing cancer cells and move to other parts of the body. Because if even one stem cell survives, you're going to have an entire tumor reconstituted and in a more aggressive form. So in addition to killing cancer cells, researchers are also looking for new ways to kill the cancer stem cells before they get a chance to initiate new patterns of growth and cause even more problems for patients like John. At Roswell Park Cancer Institute in Buffalo, New York, this is Clark Powell reporting.